trees are gone. We're in a bog. This is where the Vikings first landed. The leader. Perfect weather for this type of tour. The 1960s Norwegian writer and explorer Helga Ingstad arrived at Lanso Meadows looking for uh, peculiar mounds or villages that were buried. And locals led him to what they call the old uh, Indian camp. And there they found um, the archaeological remains of a Viking settlement. And that's where we are. And this UNESCO flag. An official flag. Yeah. This yeah. pink. Nice Now you can see it far. Let's go for the movie. That's the representation of the first settlement we're going to visit now. Souvenir. I have a souvenir. You want the price? Yeah. Put it on. And let's go explore. full-time salmon probably coming here more archaeological sites You have fur, butternuts. Oi, what is that? Yeah, let's go check the fire. Let's see fire.
How do you do today? Good. Good. So this is one of the Vikings. Yes. Norsemen. Working Norse with the alphabet. Yeah, Norsemen, that's right. <laughs> you learned the uh, ways that we like to be called. Ah. How was your journey? Good. Do you have a good captain? Do you have a good captain? Yeah? Go. Say hello to the Norsemen. like my house. Not the same, is it? Not the same. Oh, house. I, yeah, okay. All right. Well, you can look around at my house. And that's my bedroom. See, is it like yours? It's a good one. You see how you sleep. Yeah, how about you? Open this one. Open. 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 Bad. Another bad. You see? Nice. <laughs> oh, metal. Is there any of house here? Yeah. I think you can over the house. Like behind right there. Are you staying? No. Can you live here? here? No. You see what the walls are made out of? What? Earthworks. You. What is that? Earthworks. Yeah. yeah, it's earth. It's incredible. Yeah, this is from the earth they make. Peat. Yeah. Exactly like a Norseman movie, yeah. right? Let's check that house. Where do you live there? Inside. But from outside, what? See. Foggy, gloomy, treeless. Well, it's treeless because the Vikings took down a lot of the trees to build their mud huts. Going somewhere else to see the Viking ship. Yeah. You see? Good. Window opening. Good. Let's go. You sure? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Replica over there. Waking. This building you're all in here is the boat house. And this is where we keep our ship. This is Snorri. Now Snorri is a nar, which means it's a cargo ship. Now traditionally ships like that one would be used for trading, settling, or exploration. Now as Snorri sits right now, it weighs about 12 tons. And before this ship can set sail, it taught me a few things. It needs 13 tons of ballast, two tons of gear, and Snorri can carry up to eight tons of optional cargo. So when this ship is fully loaded, Snorri will weigh roughly 35 tons, and even with all of that weight, this ship can still float in just about three and a half feet of water thanks to its design. Oh, you see? They would use some nails. 
out of nails. Something is swimming there. Say good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. And welcome to the scally. Thank you. These are very fluffy. That's our sheep skin. You see our sheep? She actually and it's part of our hall. It's called your scally or your kitchen area. It's where you would eat and sleep. And our benches that you see throughout our village, that's where our ship's crew would sleep. The families would sleep together. Except for your chief and wife, they would head up the village and they would have slept in the far corner. And the two high chairs are for chief and wife. And if we got caught not working by the end of our day, we probably would not be eating. You get two meals a day, one in the morning, a couple hours of work, and then you wouldn't feast until your work was done. Everything they cooked was on melting butter. You had a culture laying a forest stew. Hot stew was their main meal. Whatever was left from today's meal, you would have. The bar hall. Leave. I'm spinning it and she's knitting it. Did you see we have a big bag of fleece there? We have to spin all of that. It's going to be a lot of spinning. <laughs> That's how you make bread. Bread house. He must taste for ceremony. Elf. Elf house. So this building right here is our blacksmith shop. Blacksmiths were very rich people because we made stuff you needed. We made weapons and armor, cooking tools, farming tools. We made the rivets for the ships and we also made jewelry. But your blacksmiths were known to have short lives due to all of the smoke. Yeah. Because of this, I would have to train an apprentice around the age of nine. The first job of my apprentice was just pumping the bellows. As my apprentice became a man around the ages of 12 to 14, they would start working with the iron and not long after this they took over as the blacksmith because the father was just unable to work.